Scribe tutorial, create step-by-step -step guidelines with Scribe. Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you guys how you can create any of your work processes into a step-by-step -step guide using Scribe. Now you might wonder, hey, what is really the point of doing this? Why can't I just do this manually? Well, doing it manually is going to take you a lot of time, effort, and is not going to be as effective as doing it with Scribe. This can be great for people that are trying to onboard their new hires, create standard operating procedures, as well as build training docs, build FAQs, and build your own knowledge base for your business. And the best part about using Scribe is that they have a free plan available. So this works with any web app. It has quick customization and shareable links and embedding for you to embed Scribe documents anywhere at any time. Now, they also have a pro team version where you can create documents in a flash for new clients or hires. This works with mobile and desktop apps as well. And you also can customize with company branding and export to PDF, HTML, and Markdown. This starts for five seats, and this is great value for teams of more than three people. Then they have the pro personal plan so it starts at $23 per seat per month. This is built specifically for individuals, including features such as web, mobile, and desktop application integrations, customizable with company branding, editing, and redacting company documents and screenshots, exporting to PDF, HTML, and markdowns. Keep in mind that the pro team version needs to have at least three members, whereas the pro personal only requires one member. Now, these are the pricings for their annual billing. You do save 20%. If you choose their monthly billing, the pro team starts at 15 and pro personal at $29. Now, let's get started with our free account on Scribe. Click on sign up under the free account on Scribe to get started. Then you're going to add why you're here on Scribe and what type of work do you want to do on Scribe. After that, you are going to add your basic function. So how you are operating, if you're in a jar, if you're looking to build something for accounting and finance. And after that, you can add your referral. After that, you are going to enter your work email address like so. Click on continue and then create a suitable password for your account on Scribe. Click on sign up over here and it needs to contain at least 10 characters. So I'm just going to click on sign up over here to proceed with my account on Scribe. Then you're going to verify your email address. So we're just gonna open up our mailbox over here and confirm our email address like so. Click on yes, this is me to complete account creation with Scribe. Once completed, you can proceed with your onboarding. So your first step is going to be entering your name. Then you can enter your team name. This is going to be my YouTube team. And then I can click on get started. Once I click on get started, we can install our Scribe extension. So click on download Scribe extension and you can go on ahead and click on add to Chrome. Click on add to Chrome over here. Once you click on add to Chrome over here, Scribe will now be added. So on the top, you can just go on ahead and pin Scribe and you will see your option to start captures. Now you have badge visibility, no capture controls, classic capture controls, as well as capture sidekicks. Now this is gonna be your dashboard on Scribe and you can go on ahead and click on new on the top right and you can create a step-by-step -step Scribe over here. You also have the option to do this on the browser only. So if you want, you can select a particular tab like this. I have my Shopify tab open. Now over here, I can begin creating my scribe. So you will see, I can click on the screen to start capturing the process. So the first step might be, let's say I want to teach my new employees, let's say how to uninstall applications on the Shopify store. Before that, I can click on the first setting then scroll down, then the next step is to go into apps and sales channels, then the next step is going to be to click on these ellipses, and this is going to display the icon. 
click on uninstall or let's say this is just going to be this one click on uninstall and then click on a reason like this select all that apply like this and then click on uninstall over here and just like that on the right it has created my entire scribe for me i can click on pause over here to pause if i am making any different changes or click on complete capture if my captures are completed now you also have blurring features these are only available on the pro version of scribe which includes blurring things like email addresses numbers common names long text form fields table rows and images you can also choose other areas you might want to blur so you can pick out whatever you prefer this feature is especially helpful. So for example, I have my general settings over here, but I don't want everyone in my company to be able to see the billing address, or I don't want everyone to see maybe, let's say the plan that we are on or, you know, a any type of information. So for that, I can simply click on blur and then I can choose a particular blur that I want. Let's say I only want to blur specific fields. Let's say I want to blur out our default weight unit. So I can choose this like so. And you can click on over here to choose any particular field. I'm going to turn this feature off. And once you have completed your scribe, click on complete capture on the top right. Once you do that, you will see it will take a few moments for your scribe to be uploaded onto your dashboard. And this is our scribe like this. So it has created our entire scribe. Once your scribe is created, you can click on add over here to add another step, tip, alert, capture, heading, or GIF. So let's say I want to add a text guideline. So let's say I'm going to add a particular tip over here and I can type in my tip. Um, let's say that my tip is going to be to uninstall or to use Shopify admin account to have easy uninstall like this or to allow all permissions for all employees, whatever tips you might want to write. I also might want to add an alert, which might be that to not uninstall the wrong application. And this is going to be um selecting and verifying uninstalls will lead to permanent deletion of content like this so i want to make everyone aware of that as well and once you have completed that click on done editing on the top right and now you can click on share on the top right over here and you can add different emails or you can simply click on export and export this as a PDF or even copy the code and embed this into your FAQ or knowledge bases. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with building your first scribe. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries regarding Scribe, Shopify, or any other tool, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.